So I'm going to invite them to the stage. It's Andrea Amez, Amelia Shiro, and Michelle Video. I think a lot of you are familiar with these people, but um, Andrea is an esthetician and artist in LA. She makes skincare and art, which is really interesting, and is um, doing a lot of different healing stuff. Amelia is a painter, a stylist, and the creator of Sisters with Invoices, which is a community collective and platform that empowers people to get their money. Um, and then Michelle Badillo is a TV personality, a screenwriter and actor, and luckily these people are all my friends, and that's why I wanted to share their beautiful personalities with you. Um, okay, so the rules of the game is there's no rules, but um, you only have two minutes, and the goal is to answer 20 questions. Do you think they can do it? Yeah. I know you guys are so curious to know. Are they going to be able to do it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of the questions isn't going to be, well, OK. So I'm going to begin with Andrea. Are you ready? Yes. These are my trusty flashcards. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Timer. This is an icebreaker activity, so welcome to our new guests. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, do you have a microphone? Oh, is this one? Okay. Say hi. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Okay, cool. Starting now. So what are the first things you did when you woke up this morning? I took two sips of water and then I lifted my PJs and showed my boyfriend my chest because I have a laundry detergent rash. Sexy. So I asked, how's it look? <laughs> um, and third thing, I went pee. And what are the, f uh, what infomercial do you remember hearing the most as a child? Oh, um, I don't know if it's infomercial radio, Get it a galpin. Dun 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 dun. Get it a galpin. Yes. And um, what is the most generous thing somebody has done for you lately? Um, that's a really good one. Um, today, I had a client today who like, I was telling her about this, and she gave me such this like amazing list of resources, functional medicine doctors, and I don't know, I thought that was really sweet. So nice. Yeah. And so since you brought up work, um, what advice do you have for people who want to pick their own blackheads instead of seeing you? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite question. Um, don't um, come, on. come see me. No, I'm kidding. Um, if you must. Just wash your hands, that sounds really dumb, but it actually can really aggravate the skin. Um, and if you must pick your blackheads, do it after a shower. Um, but I would suggest to not, because you'll cause more damage than anything, so, yeah. Why don't you like buying products that are scented? Um, because I get crazy skin rashes, like the one that I have right now, all over my belly. Um, I don't know, everyone has different skin barriers, so I just think um, things with heavy perfumes can be very irritating, so I just proceed with caution. If you like scents, that's awesome, but if they're not naturally derived, they can be very, very irritating to the skin. So if you died and came back as a beauty or skincare product, what would it be and why? I think, oh, that's a good one. Um, Probably just like a rose water toner because it's roses have the highest vibration and energy of any flower and they're super hydrating and really calming and soothing for the skin. Okay, our two minutes is up. You didn't answer 20 questions, but it was so gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andrea. So 
um, yeah, wash your hands, don't buy fragrance. Um, okay, Amelia. Hi, Terry. So, Amelia, do you prefer mayonnaise applied to the top or bottom of a sandwich? <laughs> oh, both sides, babe. Yes. Um, what do you love the most about ice skating? Oh my god. Um, I like that everyone looks at me like I don't belong there, and then I like to just, I feel like a smooth operator. Yes. <laughs> and which of your shoe paintings have people had the strongest reaction to, and why do you think that is? I think it's between the picture of Baby Spice's buffalo, white buffalo shoe, or Whoopi's banana shoe. And I think it's because they're just kind of freaky. And if you were to star in a film with Whoopi Goldberg, what would the plot be? <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Um, I think it would be me and Whoopi fighting white privilege, getting our money, maybe we're on the run, and our shoes keep changing. And we're throwing shoes like we're throwing guns, yeah. you know, and just changing into shoes. And what advice do you have for people who want to make their social spaces more gracious and inviting? Well, I think you should be completely yourself. I think if you're not yourself, maybe you shouldn't be inviting people into your space. I think if you, um, I think if you can, I think you should just be, um, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't be too serious and uh, be in the moment. And what are three of your favorite scents? Uh, Wonderwood by Comme des Garçons, Angel by Terry Mugler, and Mason, oh, what is it? It's like number four. It's like a small. I love you for answering all fragrances. Oh, I know. Yes. yes. <laughs> And why do you think karaoke is so powerful? Oh my god, because American Idol sucks, and a lot of people can sing, and I think that it actually like helps you exercise humility and the self-deprecating element, that's cool. Um, but I think that it's, it's good for your spirit, and, and you, gotta get that, you gotta get that shit out. Will you please get some shit out right now by singing 20 seconds of a karaoke song? <gasps> But give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around I said give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around yeah. Said I don't want to leave you lonely You gotta make me change my mind yeah. So beautiful. Michelle, do you want to sing like a million? <laughs> sure. Give me something that reminds me of reminds you of me. No matter how hard I try, you push me aside and I can't break through. I was humble listening. <laughs> okay, cool. So what is your favorite part of being from Forest Hills, Queens? Um, that that's where the Ramones are from, and that uh, everyone dresses like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the weirdest part of lending your own experiences to a character on television? The things that you think are like so fucking cute and special about yourself, and so unique, you put them out in the world, and everyone's like, me, and you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not just like everyone else. That was me. <laughs> description of your mother for a television program, what would it say? The nanny with Kim Kardashian's ass. Wow. <laughs> um, but I don't want to fuck her. I'm like, I want to fuck my dresser and Kim. Uh, and so, who's your favorite talk show host of all time? Jenny. Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones. She's not a comedian. It's very Start as a comedian. Look it up. It's worth it. And so, um, okay. What is the best piece of advice an intuitive healer or psychic has ever given you? Spit the bitterness out. Okay. Did it work? 
Yeah, I think it works. It works. Try it. And so what game show do you think you'd be the strongest competitor on? Jeopardy. Oh, oh, oh that's a brand. Sorry. <laughs> if you died, you came back as an item of food, what would it be and why? A loaded baked potato. <laughs> because everybody fucking loves it. It's comforting. It's cute. Okay. It's sexy, funny. No. Heights. Unknown to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, this is